project that you're working on involves casting, choosing the right epoxy is critical. Not only uh, is it important for how your project turns out, but it's also a safety thing. If you get a casting epoxy that is good for small castings and not large castings, and when I say those things, I mean the amount, like it's the volume of the epoxy that you're pouring into the mold. If you're using a small casting epoxy for a large casting, oftentimes what will happen is it will over cure. It gets too hot. Epoxy is a thermosetting plastic. It uses chemical reactions to create heat, which actually cures the epoxy. And it can get too hot. If there's too much of it, it will create too much heat. And I'm not talking like it'll get, it'll get warm and you don't touch it. It's like, it will start smoking. It can ruin the casting itself. It'll ruin your mold. It can overflow. It, it's, um, it can be a genuinely scary experience if you've got the wrong uh, epoxy choice sometimes. And the inverse is also true. If you use a large casting epoxy, oftentimes it doesn't work correctly in a small casting environment. It ends up just not curing at all. It doesn't create enough heat because epoxy, the more you have of it, the stronger the chemical reaction. So the more heat that happens. Our river table casting epoxy can take up to three days before it gets hard because you need that slow process to create the right type of casting for a large casting project. So when choosing an epoxy, that you are going to, that you intend to cast with, make sure that you are picking the appropriate epoxy, whether it's for a small casting or a large casting. Hopefully, that gives you the right information for um, your project.